Hey y'all, Rajava Rula back with another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Like, thank you for tuning in. If you are not new here, my A1 Day ones. Let's jump right into it, okay? So, update about my court date that I had. So, if you've seen my other video talking about my court date and how some random um, attorney seen my video, filed a court date on my behalf, and had someone reach out to me in my DMs and send me screenshots of the information and tell me I had a court date. I was asking questions. They did not answer any of my questions. And I posted a video talking about, you know, how it happened and my court date, right? So... I reached out to an attorney, you know, the court date was supposed to be Tuesday the 29th. I reached out to attorneys and I'm like, hey, you know, can you represent me in court? And like, they're asking me questions and stuff, you know, my information and all of that. So we're going back and forth. And then I speak to the receptionist. I'm assuming it's the receptionist. Maybe it's a paralegal. The person they have like reaching out and talking on their behalf when they're busy because he was in court. And she's like, it shows that the court date was canceled. <laughs> And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, yeah, it shows. And she read off the whole, you know, legal terms and everything. And she was like, the court date for this time for this person in front of this judge and this courtroom has been canceled. And it says that it was canceled by me. And I was like, I didn't cancel it. And she's like, well, it shows that you canceled it. So I was like, all right. I was like, but I still like to move forward. So we're still going to keep talking to move forward. But apparently the person, I'm going to assume the person that set the court date um, canceled it on my behalf. They scheduled it on my behalf and then they went and they canceled it on my behalf as well. So emotional roller coaster, very much an emotional roller coaster. I can't really, I mean, ain't really too much I can say. I didn't set it, so I guess canceling it, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Okay, I really do not know what happened. I know on my video that I posted about everything that happened, there were people in the comments that felt like I was not grateful. And there was a few people was like, oh, they should go cancel it. And I don't know if they took their advice and was like, you know what, I feel like she isn't grateful, I'm gonna go cancel it. Or if they just, can I don't really know why it was canceled. I don't even know why it was scheduled, okay? Well, I do know why it was scheduled, that's a lie. They scheduled it because I guess they wanted me to have a court date, but I don't even know who scheduled the appointment and I don't know who canceled the appointment. So I do not have a court date anymore for August the 29th at 1.30. I mean, I don't even really know how I feel about it. When she told me that it was canceled, I was like, <sighs> really don't know how to feel about it. I didn't know how to feel about it being set, but I was kind of looking forward to going to court, you know, and go ahead and dealing with it and getting it out of the way. And then like now my hopes and dreams were shot. So I guess I'll go through the process and set it myself this time. And then I won't have to post a video talking about it and the person won't feel like I'm ungrateful. And to the person who set the court date. Um, thank you for setting it. And I guess thank you for canceling it. You said it and you canceled it. I hate it. Can't be mad at that, you know? I, I really don't even know what to say because I'm really, it's, I, I really don't know what to say, but the court date was canceled. So <sighs> it's kind of like, I ain't going to say it's irritating because I didn't set it. So can't really be upset about somebody else doing something and doing it again and then i can kind of be upset because it's like you just throwing me back and forth and i feel like if you felt like i deserved for you to take your time to go set the court date i'm assuming that video made you feel like i didn't deserve it anymore and that's okay but the thing about it is and i'm sure there are so many people who will agree with the attorney and then there are people that will agree with me. I will never claim to always be right. The only thing that I can do is just give my opinion, tell you how I feel about it. I can just be real. That's the only thing that I can do. But I feel like <clears throat> you went out of your way, okay? You might've had the best intentions, but it was still a little iffy for me because there was nobody for me to ask who, what, when, where, why. I didn't know if there was an attorney on file or if I needed to file me an attorney. I had to take off work. I had to make arrangements to go down there and come back up. And <clears throat> my mom, my old truck, 
uh, my mom is getting it. And when I went down there for court, I was going to pick her up so that she could come back to Jacksonville, get the truck, get everything lined up so that she can drive it back. So now that I don't have to go down there, like her hopes got up too, because it's like, now I'm not coming. So I'm gonna have to schedule another time to come down there and do that for her. And also my niece had a doctor's appointment up here and I was going to take her back. So it's just, a, ugh. I just really don't even know what to say, honestly. <clears throat> it is a little bit, irritating because i was like really like imagining like oh when i go to court and then this is gonna happen and if they you know get rid of my curfew then i'll be able to do this and then i could do that and like i was planning but you know what the bible says man plans and god laughs okay so that's why you cannot just be planning stuff on your own accord because god always has the last say so so i don't have a court date now but now I'm going to set one for myself, which I should have done from the beginning. But to the person that set my court date without my permission <clears throat> and then went and canceled my appointment without my permission. If you had the best attentions, I appreciate you, but please do not do nothing else for me. Don't don't do that. Please do not set me no court date. Not tell me directly. Have me rearrange my life and my mental health to get to this court date to find out that I do not have a court date. I'm so I'm so thankful for this attorney that they did not take payment automatically because I would have paid for an attorney that I didn't even need. <laughs> and they did not give money back, okay? If you decide, oh, I no longer need your services, they're not going to give it back. So just, just don't, just... I appreciate you for, you know, going out your way to get the court date, but just please don't, don't do nothing else for me. I, I'll just take care of it. I, I appreciate it that you, you know, tried, but I'm going to just, um, I'm going to just handle it from here. Okay. Cause I really don't know how to feel. Okay. I really do not know how to feel, but it is what it is. And what can you do? That's it. Do I have anything else? No. Today's been a good day. Hope it's been a good day for y'all as well. Um, I'm on my lunch break, as you can see. I'm trying to hide this logo over here. It has been a crazy week for me at work. We've had to let go associates, so I've had to wear multiple hats and I'm not a hat girl, so you already know how I feel. But y'all are amazing. I do not have a court date. I will keep y'all posted because I will make sure to get me one now. And that is all I have. Love you guys.